What is up, my fellow net dwellers? Couch Band here, and today we're doing another modding 101. This time I'm going to explain the different types of file compressions out there and the different softwares you can use to open them. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, let's start off with the basics of why you would use file compression. File compression basically takes your file, which let's just realize that all things on your computer are just an array of bits. They are tons and tons of ones and zeros that make up everything, right? So why would you compress a file? Compression uses algorithms to take some of those bits and make them disappear to decrease the size of the file. What this means is it's faster to upload the files, faster to download the files, takes up less space when you're storing them. So compression has a lot of uses for it. And your basic compression is actually handled by Windows. You have built-in zip compression to your Windows. All you gotta do is right-click on any file, send to, and compress zip folder, and it will go ahead and actually compress that file. So your mom's nudes without compression takes up a total of 1.4 gigabytes. With compression, we take up 744 megabytes. We've reduced the size that this file takes up by 50%. That's a very decent reduction, which is one of the reasons you'll see it used. And there are many different types of compression, and not all of them are supported by Windows. In fact, only zip, to my knowledge, is supported by Windows. For every other type of compression, you're going to have to use a software to be able to handle uncompressing or compressing the files. Now, just getting it out of the way right off the start, my go-to pick for any type of compression, as far as, you know, decompressing files, is 7-zip. While you can't compress into RAR or other file formats, as somebody who mods but doesn't upload mods or create mods, I just need to open the compressed files. I don't need to be able to compress to these different formats. And 7-zip is a decent enough format, which is the 7-z format is the supported 7-zip format, versus RAR is for WinRAR, and there are many other compression types out there. What are some of our different options as far as compression software goes? There's basically three large softwares that have held down their spot as the primary compression-based software since, like, early 2000s. You've got WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip. These have all been developed and used since way back, I want to say 2006 for most of them, some of them a little earlier, some of them a little later. But these have been the leading compression softwares out there that most people end up having used or have used. So they're very different as far as how they actually look. For instance, here's WinRAR. You'll notice I have the evaluation copy. Why is this? Well, because WinRAR is a pay. You pay, you, pay, you buy a license to WinRAR and you can perpetually use it uh, that's part of the reason I'm not overly fond of WinRAR. One, I'm not actually doing a lot of compression. I'm not doing a lot of storage of files, archiving, all that. I really just unzip files, in which case a paid software is not ideal. You can get a theory evaluation copy for it, which is basically a temporary, but... Once you've run out of your evaluation, it'll just basically pop up. Hey, you gotta buy this every time you open the dang thing. But you do have the ability to extract two locations. You can pick any place you want. Has that functionality, you can add to your stuff. You can scan for viruses. It has a decent amount of functionality. Next software up is WinZip. With WinZip, you have to use the valuation version. Again, WinZip is a paid software. It even's got nice little built-in freaking adware to it. You can go ahead and you can go ahead and actually open the zip files. You have a variety of different types you can interact with, same as WinRAR, same as 7-Zip. This in fact lets you compress several different ways, just like WinRAR does. And just like WinRAR, it's paid. It's meant for people who are going to be using a variety of compression techniques and trying to really optimize storage. Again, not me, so I don't use it, but 
it is an option out there for people who want to get into using high compression software to be able to minimize space some files occupy. Be aware, whenever compressed, you can't run the stuff that's inside the compression. You've basically chopped off bits to be able to compress the file, which as a result, if you try to run the file without those bits existing, of course it doesn't work. So you have to decompress to run software. Uh, you can view compressed uh, pictures and stuff like that. And there are pre-compressed formats for files. Like, uh, there's no reason to ever compress an MP4. MP4s are already compressed. So you can't compress something that's already compressed and experience more compression. It's basically redundancy at that point. Anyway, so that's WinZip. Again, paid software, you have the ability to access free evaluation, and it lets you open everything from 7Zs to RARs to a variety of other things along with the basic zip files. The normal formats you're going to uncover whenever working with mods are zip, RAR, and 7Z. Almost all things are uploaded in these formats, and it's because almost everybody who actually compresses or decompresses mods basically uses WinRAR or 7Zip. But yeah, so you're only going to really be working with those three formats. People are either going to be using the built-in Windows format to compress, they're going to be using WinRAR to compress, or they're going to be using 7-Zip. They really don't do much else as far as compression formats go, so you really don't have to worry about a ton besides those three. Last one up, of course, is my favorite, which is 7-Zip. This is what 7-Zip looks like. 7-Zip, of course, is able to open all of these items. just like any of the others, and you can fully extract all these items. There's not a single one of these softwares that is not capable of opening these folders. You just have to keep on saying use evaluation, and no, I don't want to make default, because I'm going to be uninstalling after this video. But you have the ability to say, hey, I want to open this WinRAR, and you can double click to actually get inside. No, just show me the contents. Or you can do that with the, oh, what was it, New Vegas? My desktop's a little clear, I thought. <laughs> so you can access the New Vegas here. And you can access the 7-zip. So WinZip, no issues accessing any of them. WinRAR, there's no issues accessing any of them. Anyways, so as far as the different options you have out there, you can go with one of the paid options. They function great, they work fine. You have a lot more feature rich as far as your ability to compress different items. But if you're really just trying to use mods, download mods, being able to unzip any of them, 7-Zip handles all of your needs as far as what you need. It's free, it works great. It would be my recommendation. Anyways, this was Catch Man. You guys all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.